in early May, with just a month left in the school year, all 38,000 Anoka Hennepin students could see their teachers on the picket line instead of at the front of the classroom. After working without a contract since July, and after 16 negotiating sessions, the teachers' union has set a date for a strike vote. Our building leaders, uh, teachers from across the district, voted to put the question of a strike to our members on uh, April 17th. If the vote goes forward, there would be a 10-day cooling-off period after the vote before any strike could begin. Both sides say that they want to reach a settlement before the strike vote would take place. The two major sticking points appear to be health benefits and the salary schedule. Two really big issues are the idea of really making drastic changes to health insurance that pit uh, younger members against senior members and against retirees even. And another thing where they want to slow down progress for younger members to shift money to senior members. You know, those kind of divisive tactics are just something that teachers can't support. We're about working together. We're not about dividing. According to Blaha, the teachers union has made many concessions to this point in negotiations, including agreeing to the basic wage proposal by the district. We've already made some significant concessions, so we've already moved quite a bit. Uh, closer to their issue. So I'd say that we've already done our part. It's time for them to do theirs. The district declined to comment on camera, but did release two written statements to North Metro TV this week. According to district's communication director, Mary Olson, the district's costs increased by approximately $13 million each year. While the legislature did approve additional funding for the current two-year budget cycle, the district will still be facing a deficit of $7.5 million and the school board recently voted to cut the upcoming budget by that amount. The teachers union, however, contends that the money needed to reach what they call a fair settlement is available, but the district has a different set of priorities when it comes to spending. We also have a district that's sitting on over $94 million in their fund balance. One of the, it's one of the larger fund balances in the state. So when they say that they, that they have a financial problem, I think it's less about having enough money and more about their priorities and where they're putting it. They seem to have put a lot of money basically in the bank. They've been um, putting it into their fund balances uh, and, and, that's, and that's problematic. You know, I don't think we all worked on those levies, we all worked for better state funding just to stuff the mattress. It's time for us to use the money from what it was intended to make sure we're building the kind of district that attracts the very best teachers. Blaha continued by claiming that this is not a problem between just the teachers and the district. It is a much deeper problem. Anoka Hennepin has had a long history of difficult negotiations. In fact, right now, we're one of, we're one of five groups that are over nine months without a contract. And we see districts all around the state with similar demographics, similar funding, figuring out how to solve this. So we're not sure why this isn't happening here. We also see four other really large groups struggling to come to a resolution with our district. You know, this is more than teachers and a district or, or any other group. This seems to be more of a district-wide problem. You know, we're not, the only, we're not the only group that's struggling to come to a resolution. So I think this is less about the district and teachers than about a district that needs to show up for negotiations. Another major sticking point for the union was that no school board members have been present for any of the negotiating sessions thus far. Initially, the district told us that the board appoints a representative to handle negotiation sessions. In this case, the district's general counsel, Paul Cady, has been appointed. However, on Wednesday, the district changed their stance and released their second statement within three days to North Metro TV, saying, the Anoka Hennepin School Board asked the state mediator to schedule another meeting between the teachers union and the district's negotiating teams to review unresolved issues in an effort to find a mutually agreeable settlement. Members of the board will join the district's negotiating team for this session, which is scheduled for March 27th. With this step, Blaha is hopeful the two parties can start to work together. We know that when we all sit down together, we can accomplish things. We've passed levies, we've um, signed up for alternative compensation, we've improved our teacher evaluation plan. When everyone comes to the table, we get things done. We need to do that here too. The aim of most negotiations is to provide both parties with a mutually satisfactory outcome. Both sides will win some battles and lose others. According to the union and the district, they both want to work to reach a settlement. The only question now is if they can reach a settlement before the teachers leave the classroom for the picket line.
For North Metro TV News, Ben Hale reporting.